Tonight, police say the death of a Shelby County man in Florida in a deadly shootout that ended with police and the suspect. That suspect was dead, shot at the hands of police. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. Welcome in tonight. Police believe Kevin Holroyd killed an Alabama native by the name of Clinton Street this morning, and then he led police on a manhunt. CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark has been working on this story all day for us. And Michael, you spoke today briefly with Clinton Street's mother down in Alabaster. What did you find out? Well, Clinton Street's mother was understandably emotional on her front porch this afternoon. She told me how kind and loved her son was, that he was doing really well working for a realty business down in Florida, and she called today's shooting senseless. An active shooter call in Panama City, Florida. All stemmed from a homicide in nearby Santa Rosa Beach, according to investigators. We got a 911 call, um, and it, it looked you know, a little bit like a burglary in progress, but it, it turned out that it's domestic related. So um, we think the parties knew each other. Deputies believe Kevin Holroyd killed Clinton Street from Alabama in a domestic incident. Street's mother says the 30-year-old grew up in the Birmingham area and was a graduate of Oak Mountain High School. Officers say they went to Holroyd's apartment in nearby Panama City and were shot at. Multiple shots were fired from a rifle uh, from the second floor of the apartment, first beginning in the back at deputies and officers that were there, and then later uh, from the front of the department. Officers lined the streets with guns drawn during a standoff as neighbors and reporters heard shots. You could just hear these pop, 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 and I mean, it, it just kept going. It wasn't one or two, it was a lot of them. Like I said, there haven't been any shots in a while, but there was easily, probably over the course of all the shooting, oh. there are shots now. Holroyd was later found dead after the gunfire. Responding officers were hailed as heroes. Now they'll try to figure out the details of a frightening day for neighbors and law enforcement in Florida. A law enforcement officers' worst, worst nightmare. Very difficult. Now, Street's mother wasn't ready to go on camera this afternoon after the heartbreaking news that she received, but she did tell me that her son had been living in Florida and that she was able to see him for Mother's Day. So far, investigators have not released a motive. For now, reporting live in Birmingham, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.